I was nervous going into that theater and to watch it. And um, I was just really overwhelmed by everything I saw. We keep using the word story. And I feel like that allows us to distance ourselves from it. But this is something that actually happened. These are true events. And, you know, the film, it takes probably some creative liberties when it comes to conversations, what people did around the dinner table. Oh, you just called me a coyote, didn't you? But they really blew up that house. Mm -hmm. And I really killed all them people. I'd be lying if I told you we were all weren't just a little starstruck by seeing Scorsese in our community building. Uh, me being one of them, <laughs> but people who had been with all his films over the last several decades that has worked with him in the past were there. He started turning the mic over to different individuals in the community that he thought needed to hear. You know, all the big movies in the past all had were works of fiction written by non-Indians, and it required some kind of white savior character, and it, none of those elements are present in this story. A lot of the culture and the language and the customs of the tribe are not in the FBI files, mm. but they're in this room. Mm. And nobody in here wants you to fail. And we want to help you if you let us make this film. They really knew that this was a different sort of experience and they wanted to make sure that they had connected in, in a way that was respectful to the things that were in place. The response of, you know, Scorsese to come and meet with us and to actually, you know, listen and to, to hear those stories, I think that makes a huge difference. It was a pivotal moment, and I'm glad mm -hmm. that he did respond and he did decide to come and meet with the community and to listen and to really take those stories to, to heart. Because we're, you're talking about not characters in a book, we're talking about you Great know, our grandpa. relatives. <laughs> yeah. We don't want a repeat of Hollywood telling a story about Indian people without including Indian people, you know? Even talking to Chief Standing Bear, he's like, they were gonna make it anyways. We're just glad that they, they did work with us. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I do think Scorsese did a good depiction of our people and this was an opportunity that I think they didn't sleep on. You know, I'm really glad they, that they did, and I'm really proud of my work yeah. on the film. You know, I was a language consultant, and I worked with De Niro a lot every day there for a little while, just to get that monologue down, mm -hmm. you know, and, and then to see that, it was, you know, you see Osage-specific things in the film, and that's because of all these people that consulted on this film and that Osage presence really is there.